here with Cal State LA, head coach Juan Figueroa. To his left, Ariana Williams, and to his right, Kelsey Molnar. Uh, coach, just a few general comments on the match first, please. Um, yeah, um, tough loss. Um, is is yeah, disappointing. Disappointing to say the least. Um, we 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 prepare ourselves to play a good game. Um, I thought the first two games we were not assisting. Um, we came back and we fought. Um, we had him on the fourth, 23-20, um, and we were on our worst rotation there. Um, we didn't execute um, against a great team. Cardoza got on fire. Um, yeah, it took the loss. What, what did you do to get things uh, turned around after the first two sets? Well, uh, obviously I was trying to stay calm. You know, um, through it. we were here last um, last year. We played Chico, and it was pretty much the same thing, but for three games. Um, this time, we we just came flat. Um, the first two, um, after the second, I mean, I had to push some buttons, some buttons a little bit, um, and just try to get a reaction. You know, we got it. Um, it wasn't pretty, but we got um, some Bernardino to hit zero. Um, they hit zero and, and point zero fifty one um, in the third and fourth, which is pretty good. I mean, like compared to the first two, six eighty two, four thirty five. Um, yeah, I think it was just a difference of a couple balls at the end, um, and they came on top. So congratulations to them; they're doing a great job over there. Ariana, um, from the players' perspective, um, what did you guys do better in the last two sets that you couldn't do in the first two sets? Um, I really think that we actually came together and it was like a win or go home type of thing situation. So this working together as a team and being disciplined on the block and being disciplined on the uh, defense really helped us to work hard. Yeah. And Kelsey, as the setter, what, what got the offense going a little bit better in the last two sets? Um, I mean, we're a very aggressive team as it is. Whether we're down or up, we're always swinging, going as hard as we can. I think the biggest difference was we just started touching balls, and I think that helped our defense out a lot. So once we were able to start running an offense, um, and I was getting the balls up to the net, that's when we kind of just took some power back, I think. Um, yeah. Now talk a little bit last year. Obviously, when you lost here, the season, season was over. This year, you've got to... NCAA tournament bid, um, you're probably going to get on Sunday night. So just talk a little bit about which, how you guys are preparing now that this is over and what you hope to do next week. Um, yeah, I mean, hey, we're proud of it. We're proud of it. I mean, we we, we had a good season. Um, and we put ourselves in this position, you know, to um, not be crying here today um, and, and, you know, look forward to next week to probably, you know, facing – um, them again, you know, so so we're excited about the opportunity of going there proud of, of You know what the program is today. We haven't been to the NCAA as an institution and since 2010 um, So so yeah, I mean like it's, it's been great, but we're not done yet You know um, our standards are, are, are high, you know are high up there We've got these two girls here that are seniors, you know, they're, they're they don't have another chance um, another crack at it, right? Um, we have Sophomores on our team, they have um, two more years, three, right, counting this one, but, but these two girls right here, this is the last one, and we want to, you know, finish on, the, on a high note, right?